Hey everybody, Brandon from Brandon's Baseball Cards here. Uh, I'd like to talk a little bit about something that uh, has been on my mind uh, since the uh, live chat uh, last week uh, with uh, Andy. She bought me with her refractors and baseball collector and uh, Eric, those back pages. Uh, they were involved in this uh, chat and they were basically uh, discussing the class action lawsuit against PSA. And I've been thinking about um, this idea, you know, questioning, is it inevitable uh, to, to buy PSA graded cards? You know, will, no matter what happens in the industry, will this company endure because the nature of grading and because they've played such a dominant role in grading? Uh, and I think in some respects, um, the answer to that is yes. Uh, I think they will endure and I think they'll continue to thrive. Uh, and in some respects, it's, it's because we are, in many respects, we're all hypocrites, right? We criticize PSA, we criticize the process, um, but you know, none of us are actively boycotting PSA cards necessarily. I mean, if, if you are, good on you, but I'm not. And I know um, most people that I've heard weigh in on this, even people that are upset, really upset at PSA, they're not boycotting PSA. Um, and uh, to quote from uh, the discussion between Andy and Mike and Eric, uh, it's basically, you know, it'd be a drop in the bucket if, if, if we did boycott PSA. It's not going to make any difference in their bottom line for the most part. Um, but there may be something uh, to, you know, uh, at least weighing the pros and cons of submitting to SGC for some items, right? Um, instead of PSA, right, as an alternative, as a counterweight, potentially. Um, I, for one, actually like even the old SGC holder. I like almost as much uh, as the as the PSA holder. Uh, and especially if for some sets. And one thing that I actually uh, will find myself doing is once I buy one card, uh, that is, if, if I start a set, and the first card that I buy when building that set is SGC, I will try to um, c continue to buy SGC cards to complete the set. I don't like to have a mixed set between PSA and SGC. That bothers me uh, for some reason. I don't know if you guys have ever felt that, but it kind of gets on it bothers me. Uh, so for example, I have this 1887 old judge card that's been authenticated by SGC. It's been It's trimmed on the bottom. Uh, so it wasn't assigned a grade, but any old judge card I get in the future will, will be SGC. I just prefer the way the cards look in the SGC holder. It could be because they're black and white, you know, it could be anything. Uh, but I just prefer SGC uh, for for that uh, uh, type of card. Uh, and so at least with cards we have choices, right? We can choose to submit things to SGC, we could choose to purchase SGC. Uh, uh, cards that have been graded by SGC over PSA. We could do the crossover, right? We'll buy cards that are graded by PSA and have them graded by SGC instead. We could do that as well. Uh, there's a lot of things that we can do, but I do think, generally speaking, uh, PSA is here to stay. Uh, they're not going anywhere. Even if even if we you know turn to SGC for more of our items, they're not going anywhere. Uh, and then as a pack collector, PSA, P P they're the only pack grading company around. They're, that's it. They're the only pack grading company. Um, GAI used to be a pack grading company. They went belly up. They're no longer in operation. Uh, and there was a run of their packs um, where they were they were authenticating packs that were fraudulent. You can look up videos on, e on um, eBay, on YouTube, of people opening up GAI certified unopened packs. And they're, they're, there's one video in particular of, of a gentleman. He's opening a... Uh, 1975 tops mini pack, I believe is what it was, and he and he cuts it open, certified GAI, right? Uh, and there was a uh, uh, the, the wrong year in the in the in the packs. It was like 1974 tops in a 1975 wrapper, right? And there were four cards or something instead of 15, whatever the proper count was. So it was very clearly a fraudulent pack that had snuck, snuck through GAIs. Uh, detectors or the graders, right? So if you're a pack collector, you know, they're gone. PSA is it if you like graded packs. They are it. Uh, and I mean, and their holders are amazing. This is a 1954 Bowman football pack that I have. 
a penny pack, single card. I mean, they're, they're solid holders, they're thick, they're fantastic protection for very valuable packs uh, such as this. It's, they're, they're inevitable in some respects. Um, so I don't really have a really have a resolu you know a resolution to any of the issues that were brought up in the the discussion the other night. But I just kind of wanted to weigh in, provide some perspective on how I saw uh, things here uh, regarding you know PSA. You know, are they are are, are we really are, are are we stuck <laughs> right? Are we stuck using PSA? And I think in some respects the answer, unfortunately, is yes. Right? Um, uh, but with that, I'll. Uh, Go ahead and uh, get going. I hope you guys all have a great night. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, please feel free to comment below so we can have a discussion. Um, hope you're all doing great. Keep collecting finished baseball.